Friday at Pizza Flicks. The dashing Robert Hutton made a silver screen debut in 1944 with Destination Tokyo, alongside Cary Grant and John Garfield. Three decades and 35 films later, he decided to try his hand at directing with this apocalyptic vision of celluloid psychotronica. Controls, come in LA. Do you read me? Come in LA. Over. This is 7557 Tango. Need LA visibility reading. Can anyone read me? Over. Santa Barbara control the Tango. Santa Barbara control the Tango. Do not attempt landing. Repeat. Do not attempt landing at Los Angeles. Change course. Get out of LA immediately. Get out of LA area. Divert north. Get out of L.A. Divert north. Oh, brother, this must be the granddaddy of all storms. Easy now.
anybody here? Come on, you guys, wake up. Seven Tango, come in, LA. Come in. Well, where did you drop from? I'm Professor Galvin. These are my daughters, Lisa and Bonnie. Tom Gregory. Bonnie? Lisa? Were you able to contact anyone on your plane radio? I had Santa Barbara for a minute, but they died out. What's going on here? Oh, uh, get in, Mr. Gregory. Oh, now, wait a minute. I've got to check my plane in. Mr. Gregory, I, I'm sure you realize there's nobody here except us. Mr. Gregory, will you please get in? Well, at least take me to a phone. That one over there is out of order. We'll go back to the laboratory, Lisa. All right. Uh, will somebody please tell me what's happened? Don't you really know? No, I don't. Uh, would you like to tell me? Well, first the slime people came, and then the whole army came to fight them, and they lost. Then the slime men built a big wall, but before it got hardened, Los Angeles was evacuated, and, and everybody's gone but the slime men. And, and uh, us. Well, why are you here? Oh, we were up in the hills at the cabin. By the time we heard about evacuating, the wall had closed up. So we're stuck. But Dad'll get us out. He's a science professor. Well, that's uh, about the way it happened. And you actually came through that, huh? Well, I came through something rough, but it wasn't a solid wall. Well, no, it's, uh, it's more like a dome. And it covers the top part of the city as well. Now, we've always known that there are fish in the ocean, haven't oh, we? Oh, no, now, wait. Would you kind of let me out right here? Now, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. This is no joke. There are quite a few million people who wish it were. Look over there. But what we are faced with now is an invasion from a race of people who have lived right underneath our feet. Professor, I know something has happened, but uh, have you ever seen these uh, slime people? No, not yet. Look over there. Look at them. She's dead, too. <laughs> Seeing those men back there, I I'm ready to believe. But, uh, Slime men who build a dome around a city. And you're the only one to get through. Okay, but uh, you've never seen them, right? No. Well, maybe we can. Uh, I'm a newscaster, sports mostly. Why don't we go down to the TV station? There's bound to be film on this. Oh, yeah, that Tom Gregory. How about it, Professor? I think it's a splendid idea. 
Perhaps we may be able to get some additional data. That'll be valuable to us. I'll be darned. I'm sorry, Professor. I guess I didn't want to believe you. Here we are. The slime people. You wait here, and I'll put the uh, film on the projector. Oh, Dad, why did all of this have to happen to us? Now, Lisa, the important thing is to keep calm and not lose our heads. Now, let's watch this film and see if we can learn anything about their mysterious wall. Here's the late bulletin, ladies and gentlemen. Twelve persons have been found murdered on and near the beaches tonight. All beach communities are being alerted. If you are in the beach area, do not leave your homes. As a special service, I'm informed now that we are setting up a remote unit on the spot that will bring you first-hand news of this tragedy. Stay tuned for future bulletins. We're at the scene of still another murder. It's like a nightmare here. The body of Mr. James Wenban, a young engineer, was found not 20 minutes ago on this spot. Is Ms. Castillo here? Ms. Castillo, can I speak to you, please? You witnessed this, didn't you? Yes, from my window. I saw it. It was, it was horrible. Exactly. What did you see? That man. He got out of his car, and they came at him from the sewers. What came at him? The things. They killed him. And he screamed. Miss Castillo. Miss Castillo. That was Miss Castillo, eyewitness of the latest murder. We'll stay by our unit to hear at our mobile unit for further reports. You stay tuned to KTTV. Vince Williams signing off for now. The report of large monstrous creatures roaming about the fog of our city and committing mass murder has been confirmed. The military forces today evacuated all the beach areas. They are now engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the creatures at this very minute. It is believed that they are all within this area now north of Santa Monica. However, residents of all areas are warned to stay indoors and barricade their homes. Do not attempt, according to authorities, to evacuate at this time. Stay in your homes. The fighting should be over by this morning. Stay indoors tonight. We've canceled all broadcasts to bring you information about the fighting. We've asked Dr. Timothy Bro to our studio tonight. He has seen the creatures and has been in consultation with the Army. Uh, Dr. Bro, uh, we have uh, late reports from several sources about these creatures, but you saw them. Are they from outer space? Are they animals? What are they? I believe they are a form of animal life, but not from outer space. Then where are they from? The ones I saw came from underground, out of the sewers. The sewers? Yes. It's my theory, and one now held by the authorities, that these creatures have existed in the subterranean areas. But why have they attacked us? We have been doing extensive underground testing, new weapons and nuclear devices. I believe that this has seriously disturbed their former homes. They have been forced by us to seek shelter above ground. That is why we have fog. But how do they make fog? I really don't know. But one thing is certain. The ring of fog that they have thrown around and above the city is an attempt to permanently lower our temperature so that they can live forever above ground. Dr. Bro, exactly what do these creatures look like? They're large, huge, prehistoric, covered with scales and covered with slime. The slime people. Excuse me, doctor. I have a late bulletin here. We have a report that reinforcements have arrived to join the forces now fighting the slime people. More units are on their way across the country. Residents are warned not to leave their homes, repeat, Stay indoors until further notice. Our remote unit is now at the thickest point of the fog, not 200 feet from here. This area has been searched and reported clear of slime people, although the battle still rages north of the city. Casualties have been tremendous in these two days of fighting. A ring of men has now been set around the city at all points of the Dome of Fog. Here in the quiet area, the men are working trying to clear the area of the fog. It is believed that if we do clear the fog, the battle will be over. Meantime, planes are overhead, seeding the clouds and hoping that rain will clear the air. I hope I'm still visible in here. It can't be. He's... It's hardened. The fog is hardened. Somebody get in here, quick. In there, quick. Get everybody out. It's horrible. It's thickening. 
You saw it. There's a man in the fog. It's hard, and it's a solid wall in there. Colonel, Colonel, can you tell me what's happening, sir? Well, the fog seems to have turned to stone all around the city. What about the army? They're on the other side of the wall now. They've been forced out completely. Looks as if the slime people have won for now. Oh, are you on television? Yes, sir, we are, right there. Well, here are official orders for complete evacuation immediately. All civilian and military personnel must leave the area. I repeat, all civilian and military personnel must leave the area. There are openings in the fog wall to the south and east, and we've set up emergency shelters on the other side. Of course, we will try to continue penetrating the fog wall after everybody is out. Thank you, Colonel. That's it. Everybody evacuate to the south or east. Evacuate immediately. Well, that's the way it all began. Oh, do you have any more? Yeah, there's one more. After our money or... Tom, they're not our problem now. It's getting close to the dew point. You mean they'll be coming out soon? Well, let's get to Studio One. It's got double doors. Hurry up. Am I glad to see you people. They're coming by the hundreds out there. Tom, we don't have much time. They're breaking in the doors. They must have seen me. Come on, down here. Hope we keep getting power. Incidentally, my name's Calvin Johnson. You can just call me Cal. Oh, Professor Galverson. My daughters, Lisa and Bonnie, and this is Tom Gregory. How are you? Odds are getting mighty unfair out there. Sure glad I ran into you. I guess we're all lucky to be in here. Well, in the meantime, please be my guest. Oh, come on, girl. What are you doing? We left some looters behind in the projection room. They're no friends of mine, but at least we can warn them. Listen to me. If you're still in there, look out. Barricade the doors. Get the seats up against them. Shut up! Shut up!
Professor, would you mind sitting over there next to Bonnie? I'm going to try and get a message out. Tom? I doubt very much whether anything will get through that dome. But there's no harm trying. Uh, Cal, uh, swing that monitor around this way, will you? Now, if our picture is getting through, we'll see it right there. Are we going to be on television? I hope so, Bonnie. Here. If you'll hold that card right up to camera, okay? Cal, you can sit there on the arm right next to the professor. Now, just relax, and I'll switch on the camera. Oh, and let's all keep our fingers crossed, huh? There we are. We're on. This is KTTV Studios in Hollywood. If you are receiving this signal, please contact authorities and us if at all possible. There's nothing on the monitor. Does that mean they can't hear us? Well, they can't see us, that's for sure. You know, there's a slight chance they might pick up the audio. I'll give it a whirl anyway. This is KTTV Studios in Hollywood to Mount Wilson. We are being attacked by the slime people. They have us walled in the city. If you have any information about this wall, please contact us immediately. If anybody's listening, this is no joke. I'm a Marine. I was fighting these slime people and was knocked out. I guess they thought I was dead and left me there. The slime people made a fog, and the fog turned to a wall. If anyone knows how to get through this thing, then I'm sure that there's a few other people just like us that still have hope. Gee, Cal, you really fought with them? Do you think anybody heard it? Ah! What, what's wrong? We're losing power fast. Where's he going, Dad? I think he's trying to conserve electricity. Well, that'll last us through the night, I hope. This is dead. Nothing. Uh, I was hoping we could find out what was going on outside the dome. Well, maybe Cal can help us. Cal, did you actually see the wall? I saw it, all right. One minute there was just a fog, and the next it got thick and hard. When did you... Touch it? Was it hot or cold or rough or smooth or what? I didn't get close enough. The slime men were coming back and all I saw was... Well, anyway, the fog kept coming in all around and I didn't see anything else. That's when I came back here. I hid all last night and spent a day trying to find out if there's anybody else besides me that was alive in here. Was there besides us? I ran across some looters and a couple of people that were going crazy trying to get out. And some that was so scared they wouldn't even talk to me. Anyone else? Not alive. Well, I suggest that we try to get some rest. Tomorrow, Cal can take us to where he first saw the wall. Now, we'll get hold of every chemical we possibly can to try and see what penetrates it. There ought to be one. Ought to be. That's what there's got to be. I'll take the first watch. There you are, Cal. Why aren't you sleeping like the others? I couldn't sleep. Just knowing those things are out there gives me the creeps. I know. But I'll warn you in plenty of time if anything happens. Now, you go on back with the others. We're going to have a big day tomorrow. I'd rather stay with you. Don't you want me to? Well, sure. But... Well, then it's all settled. There, there is something I wanted to ask you. Did you have a boyfriend before all this happened? I had lots of dates, but there was no one special. Do you care? No. I was just wondering, your dad was acting kind of funny. Did he care that I came along? He's just worried about getting us out of here. I'm sure he didn't mind. He wouldn't have left anybody out there. Am I just anybody? I don't think so. You're so brave. I mean, fighting and everything. I didn't do any more than what my buddies would have done. I don't think so.
Barney. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. I think I kind of liked it. I want you to know one thing, though. I'm not the kind of guy that just goes around kissing any girl. I know. I'm glad because... Well, when we get out of here, I want to see a lot more of you. But right now, I've got a job to do. I know. Gee whiz. You know, as long as you're sitting here, I, I don't even want to think about slime people. You better get out of here. Right now. You hear? Okay. Bonnie. Good night. Professor? Hmm? There's no sign of them anywhere outside. Oh, is it? Is it cooler than yesterday? Yeah, I think it is. Does that mean that. Oh, no. Yeah. They're, they're trying to bring our temperature down to a constant dew point. And that way, they'll be able to circulate on the surface both day and night. I, uh, I checked your station wagon, sir. It hasn't been touched. My car's there, too. Good. All right. Come on, my sleepy beauties. Up and at them. Here we go. Oh, good morning, Tom. Hi. Good morning. What do you suggest we do now, sir? We'll have less time than we had yesterday. We've got to break that wall and get through in a matter of a few hours. Lead the way. Now, uh, I've got a list of things here that we'll need. This, plus the chemicals that I'll get from the laboratory, will give us a start. That's an awful lot, Dad. Can we get it all in one car? We've got mine, too. It's in the garage. I suggest that we divide up. That'll give us a chance to get this shopping done much quicker. Good idea. Cal, you take my station wagon. Find the nearest surplus store and get these items. Yes, sir. He'll need help with all that, Dad. I'll go with him. All right, Bonnie. Take good care of it, Cal. I will, sir. I promise. Come on, go, Bonnie. Come on, honey. Here we go. Professor? Um, this wall that they've thrown around the city is evidently uh, some sort of dome-like affair. Otherwise, we would have uh, military planes bombing us from above. Have you any idea how they make it? With some sort of machine or mechanism, they probably inject some element into a controlled air mass. Now, this combines chemically with an element in our atmosphere, probably nitrogen, thereby forming a solid compound. Oh, uh, Lisa, you better pack enough food supplies for a couple of days. Oh, right, Dad. You know, poor little Bonnie must just be famished. Yeah. Oh, I'll get busy in the lab. How about me making us some coffee? Where is it? Right here. You know, for someone strong enough to take all this, you're quite a gal. Who's trying to get us out of all of this? I think you should have more important things on your mind. Now that's asking for an awful lot. Penetrating that wall may prove to be a very valuable experiment. If anything like this ever happens again, the whole world will have the answer right at their fingertips. <laughs> You want to like being the daughter of a scientist? 
Well, it's not dull. Here, let me help you. Right here at this next corner, Tom. It's the shortcut we always take. Right. Professor, was that uh, wall anywhere near? Oh, look out! We did our best, sir. We ran into a gang of people looting the stores. They were getting too close, so we had to leave. But what now, sir? To the wall. We surveyed it from our house. Say, Tom. Our best stop. Tom Gregory, old chap. Tom? Who's that? It's Norman Tolliver. He's a great writer, but the biggest troublemaker I've ever known. Besides, I think he's a potential psycho. I say, are you driving this old worn-out heap? It goes, Tolliver. Well, I suppose it'll have to do. Oh, would you mind assisting me with the only faithful old friend I have left in this world? We'd better go, Tom. Tolliver, have you heard of the slime people? <laughs> of course. It's all a lot of nonsense. I've been right over there in my cabin all the time, and I haven't seen a one of them. Although I would like to, if they exist. I've decided to do a book exposing all the insanity that's going on around here. A book? Sir, you stick around here, and you'll have a lot of material. First hand. I shall expose these idiots who run, these fools. <laughs> Evacuation. <laughs> if there are any beings, they're probably as harmless as ants. He is nuts. Don't leave him, Tom. Come on, Tolliver. I'll show you all the slime people you want to see. Get in. <laughs> I'll go along with you. If you're going downtown, I can gather some material. Uh, oh, uh, please give me my little love. No, 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 I'm afraid he's not on the list. Somewhere in there is the wall. All right. Cal, you stay here with the girls. Tom, you bring the ropes and the weapons, and we'll go have a look at what our friends have built for us. <laughs> Crank pots at the wall. <laughs> well, there's six degrees to go. Bonnie, you watch your meter. When it reaches dew point, have Cal fire a shot. Now, we'll give two tugs on the rope if we run into any trouble. Better take this. Thanks. Dad, do you think that they'll be in there? We're only going about 300 feet, just enough to find the wall. All right, let's go. All right. Well, this is very interesting. The atmosphere seems normal. No lack of oxygen. No trace of poison gas. Keep an eye out for any movement, though. You mean slime men? Yes. It's only two degrees above where Dad made the line, Cal. Well, keep watching, Bonnie. Professor, come here. I thought I saw something move down there. Down there? No, I can't see anything. Let's move on.
It jerked a few times. Now it's pulling away. I'm going to go and see what happened. Cal, you can't. Dad told you to stay here. Tom is probably in there, falling over his own feet, lying in undated in his own blood. Wait a minute, Lisa. Lisa, Bonnie. <laughs> Fade this out, Tolliver. This is their wall. Now, Tom, will you open up those chemicals, please? Now, this is silicon. Apparently, no affinity. Try the potassium. It's marked K. There you are. Careful, Tom. Something's coming. That's your department. Tom, are you all right? What the devil are you doing here? What happened? Bonnie, what's wrong? I thought you signaled you were in trouble, sir. Well, we might as well start back. Nothing else we have to use. There are thousands of chemicals that we haven't used, of course. There must be something that'll penetrate that wall, but what? Where is it, Dad? Right there, dear. you're doing, flying jet? Do you realize the situation, sir? Look, Professor, I've been through a war. I've seen people panic and run a hundred times. Maybe ten times they had a reason. The other 90, they were just stupid, crazed with idiotic fear. Or whichever is the case here, it'll still make a darn good book. I'm going to put you in it too, Professor. Hey, kid, drop me off anywhere here. I've got a hike to jack the beachcombers. I feel an inspiration to start right in. I'll, I'll open with you characters in the fog. Drop Mr. Tolliver off. This 
looks fine right here. Maybe they got a typewriter in this joint. So long, characters. Why are we stopping here? Neurotic or not, it's what he wants. Tolliver! Come on, nobody's home. Genius waits for no one. I'll break a window. <laughs> seen anything like it. They're not human. They're monsters. People. Lots of them. We're out of gas. Pull up in front of that butcher shop. We'll make a run for it. Come on, back here's an open door. Should be saving here. It's meat locker. Metal door back and front. It should hold them. What difference does it make? We're locked in this refrigerator with those things out there. We'll, we'll either freeze. That's enough, Bonnie. Now let's get one thing straight. Tolliver is dead. He had the same chance for safety that we all had. Is that understood? Fear killed Tolliver. I'm sorry, Tom. Me too. All right. Now, if we expect to get out of here in one piece, it's going to take all the nerve we've got and then some. Tom's right, girls. Now, I don't expect you to act as if nothing was happening. But you've got to keep calm. All right. Come on, Bonnie. Come on. Remember, keep cool. They're good kids. They'll be all right now. They're wonderful. Both of them. Tom, you'd better come with me. We've got to make some plans. Did you notice any flashing or a possible electrical field or any heat when you were in the plane? No, unless you mean my own temperature when I almost took a fast dip into the ocean. I thought I was going swimming, it was so low. <laughs> of course, there is a bright side of it. The first chemicals you pick off the shelves just might do it. Professor, I don't see any slime, man. Tom, what did you say about, about your landing? Well, the plane dove to the water. It almost touched it. 
We can break their wall with sodium chloride. Tom already did it. Well, what's sodium chloride? Sodium chloride is table salt. You know, salt has to be the answer. Because the dome cannot become solid for a good number of feet above the ocean. The spray from the salt water won't permit it. And that's how Tom got through. Then why aren't the Navy subs coming in then? Well, they probably haven't stumbled onto it yet. Is there enough salt here, Dad? I hope. You know, that uh, plane was pretty well watered down. Now, why don't we find everything we can to make a vehicle? But that'll take hours. And we'll still have to find a car. We can't just walk through slime men looking for more salt. Look, buddy, I know your father said not to go out, but darn it, it'll take them hours to make that thing. We need a real car. Something we could throw a salt soap sheet on and really get out of here. I want to go, buddy. I haven't done a darn thing to help. I'll find a car and bring it back. I'll go with you. No, you stay here and don't tell them I'm gone. They just come rocking. Why should I just sit here and not do anything either? Let me come, Cal. I can help you. Okay. But you stay close to me all the time. Okay. We gotta stay over this way. Back there's the wall. You stay far away from it. Over there. We're in business. Bonnie? Those crazy kids walked right out. Well, they must be near. It's only a minute since they left. Unless... Oh, Tom, let's go and find them, please. No, no, you stay here. You work in the car, both of you. It makes more sense that way. Honey, hand me that gun, huh? Take care of our girl. Right. You be careful, Tom. I will. right there with me, and then she was gone. You... You didn't see any sign of... Cal. She's not dead. Oh, no. Not Bonnie. I think they've taken her, probably to try and lure us out in the open. As long as they keep her alive, they know we'll come out after her. Cal, where do you think you're going? I'm going out there after her. I got her into this. Now I'll get her out. See this? They used it on us. I use it right back on them. Get back here! Don't touch it, Tom. That's their secret. They're self-sealing. They're what? You mean a bullet makes a hole and closes up, is that right? Basically, yes. That accounts for the cap on the lance. When they fight among themselves, the cap is removed. The lance is hollow, therefore the hole doesn't close. Okay, now we know. You can sit around and talk if you want to, but I'm gonna go after Bonnie. Well, you're not gonna help her by getting yourself killed. Those servos are right outside that door. They'll get you in a minute. Well, we just can't let them have her. I bet they've got a headquarters nearby. Tom, I... I'll never forgive myself if anything happens to my child. Oh, Dad. I'll bring her back if I have to kill him with my bare hands. Let's try the front door, Cal. It may be clear. I don't care if it's clear or not. Let's go! Oh, Tom, please be careful. Oh, my God! 
get him out of here. Right. Still in it. We've got to find their trail. Footprints, slime, anything. Come on. She's still alive. I'm putting up quite a fight. So will we. Come on, let's go. Get out of here. Bye. Uh -huh. 
Think we lost him? Well, let's hope so. We learned a lesson, though. About the Lance? Uh, Do you think the professor's really right? I mean, about taking the cap off. Oh, he'd better be. As far as I can see, there's no other way of fighting him. Nothing seems to stop him. Come on, let's find that trail again. Cave down there. This is probably where they first came up from underground. Bonnie's got to be here. Well, there's only one way to find out. Hey, Cal, you climb that tree. Fire a couple of shots. We've got to make sure that they're far enough away from the entrance before we can get in. Right. Well, what about you? I'll go behind that rock. When the coast is clear, I'll come out. Don't you come down until then, understand? Right, sir. Okay, let's go. All clear, let's go. See the footprints? This must be a main headquarters. Let's hope Bonnie's here. Get in as close as we can. Hold on, honey. We'll be there in a minute. Oh, I thought you'd never find me. Yeah, I know. Something's coming. Get her out of here.
sure, honey. Look, Cal, if we run into any kind of trouble, grab the lance and get the cap off. Believe me, it works. Great. Now, let's get back to the others. Come on. Look at that. What is it? The machine that makes the wall. It must be. If you're safe now, don't cry, dear. You're all they right. They kept dragging me around. They grabbed me in the cave. They were all around. I couldn't get out. Don't, don't. I we'll get out of everything all right. Now, don't be afraid anymore. Oh. Lisa, I think she'd feel better if you'd help her clean up a little bit. Oh, I do, too. Come on, let's pretty up the face, huh? Oh, if we'd only evacuated with the others, none of this would have happened. It's all my fault. And someday I'm going to make it up to her. Well, from now on, I want you to follow orders, OK? Yes, sir. Professor, we've already lost valuable time, but I think that we found their machine. The machine that makes the wall? Yeah. What did it look like? Were there any dials, any levers, anything we could reverse to break the wall? The slime men were coming back, and we, we had to leave. All I saw was a large, soft mass that came out of some kind of a machine. I've never seen anything like it before. That means we'll have to rely on the salt. Let's try it. Wait a minute, Cal. How much salt do we have? Two buckets of solution. Well, they'll have to do. We haven't got much time. No, we haven't. The slime people already have our temperature under control. That means that they can stay above Earth both day and night. As long as we stay in here, we're just setting ducks. That's right. Now or never. Where is this salt? Outside the door. I'll round them up. Come on, Lisa, buddy. We're going through that wall right now. You guys bring those buckets. Right now. The headquarters are right below us. Behind us is the wall. All right, let's get to work. Girls, bring the salt solution over here. Dad, what is all that noise? It's the military trying to break through from the outside. Cal, did you bring the rags and sticks? I got them. All right, now make some of those sticks. Keep them well soaked in this solution and apply them to this area right here. Right. Professor, come here, Miss. What is it, Tom? going down there and get their machine. 
too much of a risk. Not right now. The cave was clear when we came up here. They're probably still trying to figure out where we took Bonnie. We'll try the salt first. If that doesn't work... No, no, no. There's not enough time. The machine is down there. Now, you know the odds of breaking through that wall with the two buckets of solution. Dad, we've almost used half a pail. We've only made a small dent. Yeah, but the odds have dropped. I'm going after the machine. Tom, you can't. Honey, I have to. Cal, cover me from the ridge. Cover you? I'm going with no, you. No, you're not, and that's an order. You stay here and fire if you run into any trouble. Tom, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. There are a lot of things I want to tell you. I'll have to wait till we get out of here. All right. Come on, Marine. sign of them yet. You know, you better let me go. You may run into trouble. I know. I'll be all right. The others need you here. Now, look, don't leave no matter what happens. Just give me a chance to get down there, and then you signal that the coast is clear. You understand? Yes, but... No arguments. Right, sir. Do you think he'll be all right? He can take care of himself. But he's all alone. We'd better get back to the wall, dear. Well, I think one of us should have gone down there to help him. Get back. I'll take care of him. noise will probably bring more of them. Do you know where their machine is? Yes, sir. It's not far. Let's go. We can't stay here any longer. Follow me. Oh, my God. 
killing them. The whole wall is gone. We can get through now. Let's go. glad that's over with. You know what I'm going to do when we get home? What's that? Buy gallons and gallons of salt and save it for a foggy day. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope we never have to use it again, Bonnie. Dad, you don't suppose they could come back? I hardly think so, but who knows? Perhaps there are other, even stranger creatures underground. Oh, Dad, you're being a scientist again. <laughs> Well, it looks like the situation's well in hand. Did you actually break this wall? No, Professor Galbraith did, Colonel. The general is waiting to see you. We'll need a full report. Will you please come with me? With pleasure, sir. Well, there goes the last of the wall, Tom. It's just the beginning for us. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 